We're in Wilder, Kentucky at a Maxim Crane location. We're going to demonstrate a Lincoln Remote Link P203 pump. It's part of a automated lubrication system that Maxim installs on all of its fleet. This quick loop pump features, features the new Remote Link capability, which enables customers to monitor the pump using the GPS telematic system on their machine. Uh, we're connected with Jeff Torek, the National Service Coordinator for Maxim, uh, via the Internet. How are you today, Jeff? Okay, Eric. Uh, yeah, we're excited about this uh, remote link pump. Uh, we've been using an earlier version that uh, only sent us one signal. Uh, this, this new one uh, will allow us to uh, determine uh, the exact nature of what, uh, what we're dealing with when we uh, when we have a problem with one of these in the field. To demonstrate how the system works, we're going to create and transmit two separate signals, one for low lubricant level and the other for a system fault. For the purpose of this demonstration, we have yet to fill the reservoir after installing the system. In order to trigger a low level fault, all we need to do is initiate a manual lube event. Within seconds, the LED flashing light on the pump indicates the low level. Depending on the telematic system setup, how often it monitors the pump, an email or text message will be sent to Maxim Crane's fleet operations team. Once this message has been received, a loop truck can be dispatched to refill the reservoir. Did you get the message, Jeff? Yeah, I did. Uh, it came over in an email, and uh, it's showing me that we have a, uh, a low lube level on this crane, and uh, we need to call the operator and find out uh, what's going on. For this demonstration, we will refill the reservoir and clear the low-level fault. There are a number of ways to fill a Lincoln reservoir. We're using this new Lincoln quick fill pump to speed the process for this demonstration. Once we have filled the reservoir, we initiate another manual loop event to clear the fall. For the second part of our demonstration, we will purposely block the lubrication line. Quick loop systems will generate a system error if any line in the system is blocked. Once we have blocked the lubrication line, we go ahead and start up the pump with a manual lubricant. Since lubricant will not be flowing through the valve, the proximity switch will notice that that valve is not stopping. It'll tell the pump to go ahead and shut off. The pump monitors the entire system. Once enough time has passed, the proximity switch has not noticed that the system went through an entire cycle, the pump will go into flow. Okay, Jeff, we have a system there. Did you get your email? Yeah, I did get an email. Uh, it indicates a uh, loop pump fault. I can see by the email that uh, yeah, we have a loop pump fault. We're going to need to contact the operator to check for a block line and, if necessary, uh, send a mechanic out there to take care of it. Once the mechanic arrives at the job site, it should be a fairly easy process to find the block lube line, correct the problem, and run another manual lube event to clear the fault. And that's it. Lincoln's new remote link pumps give the customer the added advantage of two separate signals for low level and system fault. These can be transmitted to any telematic system on the market today.